The purpose of this video is to review how we can create a task in a specific project every time we sell a service. Um, in Odoo today, the way that it works, if we create a product su uh, such as service, and then I mark it, you'll see if it's consumable, I'll see this in, in the sales tab, whereas if it's service, I'll have access to different configuration here. You will see if I have ordered, we'll do timesheets, I'll have an option when it comes to defining how I'm going to track this service. I can don't I cannot create a task at all. I can create a task in an existing project, which is here. We can we don't have any projects, but I can create one called um, Project X. And now you'll see every time I sell this service, I can either I can I have to assign here one value Project X. If I have also Project Y. You'll see I have to choose between one of one or the other. Now, if I have, if I only want to have one service product, and I want to give the flexibility to allow me to define which task this uh, project is assigned in every time I sell this service product, um, I'd actually out of the box in Odoo, I'd have to have two different products. I'd have to have a service for Project X, and I'd have to have a service service for Project Y. Now. What I'm going to show you today is how to overcome that that limitation um, with with a small customization. So if we just leave this as create a project in uh, an existing project, that's fine. We can also create a task in a um, excuse me, create a task in an existing project, or create a task in a new project, which is every time uh, you create a or every time you confirm a sale order with service, it will create a task in a brand new project. So it'll create a new project and a new task. And I can reference a project template here, meaning uh, projects, if you're not familiar, are composed of um, stages. So we can say new and done, just to keep it simple. And they can also have templates predefined in here as well. So this is, a, a, at this point, I could reference project X as the templated project, meaning every time I sell a task and it creates a new project, it will inherit uh, the configuration of the project which I'm referencing as the templated project. In this case, it would be Project X, and I'd have, in, in that case, just two stages pre-designed for me uh, in a new project. So we will, if I go back to my products, actually, I need to create that again, service, and I'm going to mark it as a service product, and I'm going to do timesheets, and I'm going to create a task uh, in an existing project. Perfect. So just to confirm how this works, if I go and I sell this to John Doe, right now, if I save and confirm, we're going to generate a new task in the project, which I defined as the project on the order line, which was Project X. And you'll see there's the new task for sell order one. Now, if I wanted to sell this service product and have it show up in Project 2, uh, Project Y, uh, there's no real way to do that out of the box in Odoo as of yet. Now, the way that we're going to do that is is simple. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the models, and I'm going to do it through the back end. Um, you can also do it with Odoo Studio, but I'm going to go to the sale order line, which is the order line, and I'll explain it in a second. And I'm going to create a new uh, field called Project ID, and this Project ID field is going to reference the many to one, uh, the field called project dot project, which is just the project table. So I'm asking every time I see this field, it's going to, when I click on it, it's going to pre-populate values, which pull from the project table, which is just going to be all my projects. Uh, and I'm going to actually save it. Actually, I need to give it a name, but I'm just going to call it project and we'll save it. Now to show you what this looks like, if I go back to my order, and I open my order up with Odoo Studio, I can easily go in and drag that, that new field called project down here, and I can drop it on this table. Now that's the sale order line table, right? All my lines I'll see here. And of course, it's the sale order is the overall record which the sale order line sits within. And now you'll see I have this project field here. The project field is going to allow me to choose X or Y. Now, this isn't going to solve the problem in and of itself. 
uh, there needs there's more to it. But now you can see we're starting to build the um, the infrastructure which is going to drive this uh, activity. So now that we have the project field here, I need to figure out how to get the project field on the task uh, here. And you'll see if I open the task, it's assigned to the project. I need to figure out how to change that. And I know that I can link through the sale order line um, to change his value. But because this is a base field, meaning it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a base field in Odoo, meaning I can't, without accessing the source code, I can't actually go in and modify the behavior of this project field to, for example, inherit a value from the sale order line, um, which is what I would like to do, but I'm not going to be able to do that in this demonstration um, because I'm not going to go into the source code and, and, and get my hands into that right now. So what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to create a new field on the project.task. So we're going to go back to models. I'm going to type in the project.task, which is just the task table, and you'll see that here. And I'm going to be able to create a new field here called, again, project ID. And I'm going to call this project many to one, and it's going to reference the project dot project. But instead of leaving it like this, I'm actually going to say, Odoo, oh, when you are looking for a value in this field, I don't want you to create, whenever I create a, a task, to just leave it blank. I actually want you to go look at the cell order line, which this task is connected to. And I want you to inherit the value of the project field, which we created on the cell order line a few minutes ago. That's step two to this workflow. And in order to do that, we're going to do cell line ID dot X project ID, meaning cell line ID is a way to tell, you know, you're telling Odoo, but this is a related field and the field we're going to relate to or we're going to inherit is actually I want you to go. This is the path. It's I want you to go look at the cell line ID and figure out which one matches this task we're in. And I also then I want you to pull this value from that ID. And if I save this, you will now see. I have obviously a project field on the uh, on the task and I'll just go right to the task and show you what that looks like on my tasks there it is now I can open this up and I can also um, see my project field here and I can you don't have to add it to this view um, but now that I have it here let's test it and you'll see if I edit it's I can't edit a value here because it's related meaning like I said earlier it's it's going to inherit a value from something else now if I go back to my order for example, if I open this and I select project X, it should update the value in the task that we were looking at before, and it does. So now I see it inherits project X. If I change that to project Y and save it, it updates to project Y. However, project X is still the field that is being used to actually place the task in the specific project. You'll see just because that field says project Y, it's still in project X. So we need to figure out a way to adjust the value of this field to make it reference this field. And because this is a base field in Odoo, it's not going to let me say, you know, Mr. Project Field, I want you to reference this other project field for a value, um, which is then obviously connected to the order line. So what I have to do, and I can show you what I mean by that. if I actually click on this project field and say, uh, I want you to inherit the X project ID field, it's going to kick back. And I can say ID. See, it's a base field. You cannot alter it. You need to go through the actual Python code. So that's fine because there is a workaround. So anytime you hit a, a snag like that, um, you can you have two options. Either A, you can go into the, Py to the actual Python files and make the adjustment to that, that field, or you can create an automated action, which is a safer way to actually adjust the value of this field without getting into the code too much. So if we go to automated actions and I create an automated action here, I can say update project field. That'll be the name of my action. Doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. The model this is going to take place on. Where is this action going to be happening? It's going to be happening on the task. 
and the trigger condition is going to be on creation and update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all records. And for example, I'm going to look at all records where that project field, that custom project field I created, where the project, and I'm just going to say where it is set. So anytime I set a value in the way it's going to work, anytime I set a value on the sale order line and I confirm the sale, it's going to create the task, which means that that new task is going to have a value in that custom project field because that custom project field is going to inherit the value automatically from the sale order line, if you follow me. So now that this is set and I save it, it's going to look at all tasks which have a project set and I'm going to apply it on all tasks, same thing. I'm just, and you could potentially leave those blank, but just to be safe, I would recommend uh, specifying this up here and I'll just say is set. Now, action to do, I'm gonna action, and you can have many different actions to do, but I'm gonna just update the record. And what this allows me to do is say, um, I can choose a field that I wanna update and I'm going to choose this uh, project task. This is a, the project ID. So this is the real project field that the task comes with predefined. Again, that base field. And I'm going to say to Odoo, I want you to execute a Python expression. And the Python expression that I'm going to choose is going to be record.xprojectid.id. So I'm going to say from the record from the task record that we're looking at, I want you to look at the X project ID field, which is the custom project field that we just created a few moments ago. And I want you to inherit the ID of that field. And you'll see how that works in just a second. Now, let's go and let's go back to that initial order. And let's change the value here from project to project uh, Y again, just to be safe and save it. So you remembered that one task, it was in project X. It's still in project X. Now, if I, and maybe we have to create a new order just to be safe because it won't be retroactive in that sense. So if I go in and say service and I say project Y and I confirm it, the task gets generated in project Y. So it is not retroactive. So any records that you have pre-existing um, may not inherit that rule. Uh, if you follow the instructions that I've given here, you may need to make some modifications to get it to be retroactive, but you get the idea. If you do this right at the start, you'll be safe. Um, and so you'll see if I go to the project, we've created a new one in project Y. And again, if I go back to the order, create, and I do another one in Project X, my service. And again, the cert, this functionality is going to function the same throughout. So you can still bill hourly, all that. You'll see I've just created a new project in Project X. You'll see now I'm up to two in Project X. And there's my cell order three up there. And again, you can always go back in and still adjust the project value here if you'd like to. So you have uh, you have a number of different options. but in a nutshell, this is the video is getting a little long, but I hope this helps you understand how to, you know, make a customization as such. And um, yeah, if you have any additional, any additional questions at all, you can feel free to let me know. Um, again, and I'm not sure if we change the value on here. Something I'm still going to have to play with. But if I adjust to Project X, does it adjust and bring that set order two there? It does. So you'll see set order two adjust. So now that it's been changed at the um, any orders going forward from initially making that customization will inherit the new value. So I can easily uh, go to sale order three and say, okay, actually make that project Y. And I'll see in the task, it's been added to project Y in sale order three. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and then found it informative. I mean, the logic that I've gone through here is not specific to just the project task, sale order line flow. I mean, you can, you know, these are just related fields and small Python actually, you know, small Python automated actions, uh, you can apply them anywhere across the entire Odoo framework, which is a fantastic thing. So um, you have questions, just, just reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much.